Hello viewers. So today we'll talk about Spinnaker. I have used this in my one of the organization for deployment purpose. So let's get started. And this is going to be a basic introductory video for Spinnaker. So if you are new to Spinnaker, uh, this video is for you. So before knowing what is uh, Spinnaker, let's understand what is continuous delivery and continuous deployment. So continuous delivery is a practice by which a software can be deployed to production in fast, safe and automated manner. The idea is that here is that new functionality can be built and if all things check out uh, and if everything is working fine, it can be deployed to production. This is a manual approval to prod. Now what is continuous deployment? So continuous deployment takes this uh, further. It automatically pushes any change to production as long as it passes any test which is defined. So there is a slight dis uh, difference between continuous delivery and continuous deployment. Many times it is asked uh, in the interviews as well. What is Spinnaker? So Spinnaker is a multi-cloud continuous delivery platform for releasing software changes. It is designed to increase release velocity and reduce the risk associated with up updating application. A Spinnaker is used in production by thousands of organizations around the world to automate their software delivery process and used by developers, testers, SREs to deploy hundreds of changes a day. Spinnaker is supported by a large community including AWS, Google, Azure, Oracle, SAP, Cisco, Netflix, etc. Spinnaker is a Linux Foundation project and CD Foundation executes the product roadmap and strategies initiative. Spinnaker is a free and open source continuous delivery software platform originally developed by Netflix and extended by Google later on. It is designed to work with Kubernetes, Google Cloud Platform, AWS, Azure, Oracle Cloud, etc. Spinnaker was developed by Netflix as a successor to internally developed Asgard. It was released under the Apache License 2.0 in November 16, 2015 and has been adopted by tech companies after that. So let's see how many companies are using. So this is few list where we can see that uh, Avast, Box, Chartboost, Center, Cloudera, all these companies, ClearTax, all the major companies uh, are using it every day. Adventa, Airbnb, Google, uh, you can see here Grab, Netflix, all, MuleSoft, almost every company, ma major company is using Spinnaker these days. You can use the Spinnaker in your uh, CD pipeline to deploy it. So Spinnaker can integrate with uh, any CI CD tools in your environment. It uh, complements CI tools such as Jenkins and Trivas CI by orchestrating the entire deployment pipeline, including invoking the CI tools, fetching the artifacts they create and deploying the final package into the target environments. Now, what are the benefits of Spinnaker? Benefits of Spinnaker includes continuous integration. Uh, it gives you monitoring integration, CLI, command line interface for setup and admin, Deployment strategies, notifications on emails like HipChat or SMS, rule-based access control. It is easy to, uh, for creation and modification of deployment pipeline using virtual interface. The configuration of pipeline for deployment infrastructure instead of managing resource manually. So all these benefits you can get uh, with the Spinnaker tool. So the, what are the key features of um, Spinnaker? So one of the major features is it gives you multi-cloud deployment, CI integration, monitoring and notification integration, support for various deployment strategies. It has built-in security practice as well. So let's see some of the features one by one. So first is multi-cloud deployment. So we can use Spinnaker to deploy applications, um, containers, VM or functions to the public cloud such as AWS, GCP, Azure or private cloud like OpenShift. We can deploy Kubernetes apps seamlessly as Spinnaker treats Kubernetes as a first class citizen. We can use Spinnaker for automated pipelines. Uh, or, so it can automate your release with the flexible pipeline builder in Spinnaker to automate the CICD workflow and deliver multi-service composite application into target environments without writing any scripts. It gives you pipeline as a code. So use existing pipeline JSON benefits to recreate and configure application delivery workflow. You can leverage pipelines as code to insert fine grained policies and improve visibility during the pipeline execution. It give, also gives a feature of deployment verification. So deploy application with ready to use built-in safe deployment strategy in Spinnaker. Spinnaker native supports include blue green deployment, canary rolling upgrades and lets you define your custom strategy. Spinnaker also provides the ability to roll back 
bad deployments with one click or even automatically. The Spinnaker feature includes flexibility and extensibility as well. So with open source Spinnaker, it is easy to customize and extend any capability as per your organization requirements. You can build connectors for external service or tools or add new UI widget. Next is uh, security. So with embed authentication and author Authentication and authorization by integrating a Spinnaker with tools such as OAuth, SAML, LDAP, X509 certification, Google Groups, Azure Groups, or GitHub Teams. It can store your, you can store your sensitive information using Spinnaker integration with third-party secret management tools like Hasecure Vault. Spinnaker is API-based as well, so Spinnaker is modular and can act as a central CD for many enterprises because it uses an API-based architecture. Developers across the team can integrate external services with Spinnaker services. Now what are the different components in Spinnaker? In Spinnaker, Spinnaker is made up of 11 microservices working together to give us key features that we get out of the box. First is DEC. This is the front-end service for Spinnaker. Anytime you are interacting with the UI, this service is doing all this work. Gate is another component. This is the API gateway that fronts all the other services like any other microservice architecture. All communications from the UI or API caller to Spinnaker goes through this service. Third is Orca. This service is responsible for all ad hoc operations, things like taking a pipeline or task define, definition and managing the strategy and tasks. This service is also responsible for persisting information about pipeline execution, allowing one stage to get info about another stage. Redis is used to persist this information. Next is Cloud Driver. So this service is responsible for making calls to cloud providers and caching all deployed resources. It is the main integration to all cloud providers. Next is Front50. Uh, this component um, of uh, Spinnaker uh, is used as a service is responsible for persisting the metadata of application pipeline projects and notifications. Next is Roscoe components of uh, Spinnaker. So this service is responsible for making images that will be deployed. It uses the Packer tools to do the backing. Next is Elgor. This service is used to connect to continuous integration platforms such as Jenkins or Travis CA to Spinnaker. It also allows Jenkins Travis CA to be present in the pipeline. Without this service, you will not be able to integrate with any CI tool. Next service is Eco. This service is the event bus responsible for sending notifications and responsible for all can incoming webhooks to Spinnaker. Next is Fayette. Uh, this service is responsible for authorization. It is used to query for user permission. Next is Kaneta. Uh, this service is responsible for automated canary analysis for Spinnaker. This is the largest service added to Spinnaker. So earlier version of Spinnaker did not have this service. Next is Hayard. Hayard. Now this service is the tool for installing, configuring, and updating Spinnaker. So Spinnaker is a cloud-first architecture with a strong uh, favor in Kubernetes. It is also well suited in abstracting away menus from the cloud provider in order to get your deployment online as quickly as possible and as safe as possible. It incorporates infrastructure as code tooling. This does not mean that this is a provider like Terraform. Rather, it is a artifact-driven. This can contain this can condense containers, VM, or etc. Uh, this makes the call to the cloud providers in order to spin up your infrastructure and send it up to support your deployment. Spinnaker is also focused on automated releases with robust pipeline stages nested underneath. This pipeline can be ran in parallel and also having the power and ability to manual human intervention. This could mean that there needs to be a physical check from a software engineer, DevOps engineer, reviewing the analyzing the results expected before continuing on this pipeline. So how does it work basically? So it provides two main set of feature, application management and application deployment. So application management says uh, to view uh, is used to view and manage cloud resources use Spinnaker application management, the key uh, which is the key concept for Spinnaker application. Application in this an application is collected for the cluster and our application represents a service deployment using Spinnaker configuration set for all services and infrastructure on which it will run. It creates a different application for each service. Next is the cluster. It is a collection of server groups. Uh, we have server groups as well in Spinnaker. Uh, server groups identify the deployable like VM image, Docker image, and source location. It also used for basic configuration settings such as number of metadata instance and auto scaling. Optionally, this resource is associated with load balancer and firewall. When deployment is done, a server group acts as a collection of runtime, running instance, and also running software. Load balancer. Load balancer is associated with port range and ingress protocol. It manages traffic among instance and server group. Also, it helps in health checks for load balancer. We also have a firewall. 
So firewall is used to define traffic access. It is a set of firewalls rules that are defined by an IP range and also communication protocol. Application deployment uh, to construct and manage continuous delivery workflow. Use of a spinnaker application deployment. These are some key concepts. Pipeline. Pipeline is the key uh, which helps in deployment management in spinnaker. It consists of sequence of actions called stages. Also pass parameters from a stage to a stage along with pipeline. Stages are um, an automatic building block for pipeline in a stage is a spinnaker. In this, define an action to perform on the pipeline. It provides a number of stages such as deploy, judgment, disable, resize, and many more. Next is the deployment strategy. It supports the red, uh, red and black strategy and also it has a blue-green strategy. It also helps in handling the orchestration like health check, disables, and enable server groups. So now let's see what is the best practice for using Spinnaker. So first is plan for frequent updates for each microservice pipeline. Next is declaratively specify application microservice as infrastructure as code. Third is visualize pipeline and environments. Fourth is early left shift security. Test automation with prioritization and early feedback. Next is using staging before production. Next uh, best practice is advanced deployment strategies we should have. And at last, monitors, user experience, and metrics. So let's see the Spinnaker pipeline. So delivering an application with Spinnaker requires a pipeline. This pipeline can be reused and iterated as iterated on as you need changes. Building pipeline with a series of customizable stages that each perform a single function. For example, including a canary analysis stage to perform automated canary analysis for blue green deployments. Spinnaker integrated with your CI tools triggers a build for Linux based machine image. This image along with uh, your launch configuration defines an immutable infrastructure that you can use to deploy your cloud providers with Spinnaker. You can run your test which can be integrated with, integrated with Spinnaker and automatically triggered. Based on your deployment strategy and, and any criteria, you set go live with the build. So you can see one of the multi-cloud uh, deployment pipeline using Spinnaker here in the diagram. So why should we use Spinnaker at all? So the answer is we can use Spinnaker if you want to accelerate your software delivery velocity. If you are currently shipping software once per quarter start there, your Spinnaker to automate the process and make it smoother, filling, advant filling adventurous, bump your release can cadence to once a month, once a day, once an hour, Spinnaker can handle it all. Let Spinnaker meet you where you are at. Spinnaker today is used by companies around the world from a small startup to Fortune 50 organizations as well. You can see here a lot of uh, companies, uh, Google, we have Target, Under Armour, Sepik, Redfin, Searchat, almost all major uh, companies are using it. So in summary, we can say Spinnaker provides application management and deployment to help your release software change with high velocity and confidence. Spinnaker is an open source multi-cloud continuous delivery platform that combines a powerful and flexible pipeline management system with integrations to the major cloud providers. If you are looking to standardize your release process and improve the quality, Spinnaker is for you. So thank you so much for watching today's video and if you think the video is helpful, do like the video and subscribe to the channel.